Hello Taurus and welcome back to Send the Moon Goddess channel. If you new to our channel, we welcome you. And uh, we're going to do first order of business. So Taurus, Capricorn one eye contest. They received two readings, one regular reading and then I did another reading where I did each sign, love sign. We did love. Ooh, I was supposed to only have one of the love card, but it gave me four, so I'm gonna take them, of course. All right, and we're gonna do our regular Celtic cross. So that was really fun doing that for Capricorn. Why don't you take a look? It was really nice, and I think once you look at it, that'll motivate you for our next contest will, will be next month in September okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe now how did Capricorn want win they won by the most likes and, and views so that's what you're gonna want to do Okay, now we're doing things a little different. I'm giving one love card, well, supposed to be one, but you know, we do whatever spirit says. And then we're going to do a Celtic cross. A ten card Celtic cross. If spirit says ten cards, then we do ten cards. If they say 11, we do 11. <laughs> what? It's 10. Okay, we need two more. Two more spirit. One more spirit. One more. Okay, two more. Two. All right. Let's go. Let's get it, Taurus. Prince of Pentacles. We're going to move it forward. Look at you, Taurus. <laughs> the bull being stubborn here. That's what I'm getting from that card. You being stubborn. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. I love finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. Torrey. Spirit ain't messing with you today. <laughs> I feel really silly. I wonder if you guys feel in that. <laughs> All right. All right. Our first card is um, where we are right now. Oh, we at the Ace of Wands. We're telling the truth and we're slapping you aside your head, but if we don't care. All right. That's what I get. And then our challenges for the week. I'm sorry, the reading week is August the 7th through August the 13th. So this is what this reading is about. Sometimes it might happen later, but this is what I'm asking, Spirit. But anyway, let's go back to the reading. So it's the hangman is our challenge. I'm getting your patience. Yeah, you need some patience here. So sit back, have some patience, um, settle down. That's the spirit is saying, settle down and take a seat. I'm just repeating. Okay, I don't know what all that means. Hope it means something to you. All right. Our focus of the week. Oh, our intuition. This is my favorite card of the day. Our intuition. Yes. The full moon. Something about the full moon and your intuition. Okay. Um, our recent past. Uh, we were disappointed. 
was in disappointing in something or someone. Disappointed. Okay. Our strengths for the week is because we're going to take that leap of faith they keep telling us to do. That's what they saying. That's your strength. You listen. Okay, your future. Your future is the Six of Cups, baby. Pleasure. You're going to have a good week. Isn't that something? Um, how to get through the week is the Eight of Pentacles. Nurturing. You need to nurture. You need to do some nurturing. We're going to clarify. Okay. And um, what we need to know for the week. Ah, the four wands. We're going to celebrate something. Something is going on and we're going to celebrate. Okay. And then our hopes and fears is defeated. We're going to be defeated. We are afraid of we're going to be defeated. And what I don't know yet. Spirit is not even touching this card. Okay, well, you have two fives, so maybe it's trying to tell you you're going to, um, change is coming. All right, the outcome of the week, you're going to be set in your power or change. Yes, that's what the five is for. And if there's a, a rebirth, and usually when there's a rebirth, there's a big change. Okay. It's a big change in life. A big change in you. You have this high priestess here. And it keeps saying the moon. So the the new moon is um, it's Sunday. The 8th. So I'm going to put some things. And also it's a portal opening. So um, I'm going to put some things on my um, Facebook. See, send the moon goddess. Or you could look here on YouTube and it'll have a link for you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that up today. Well, when you get this reading, it'll be up. Yeah, it's telling you the full moon. It's something to do with the full moon. I'm I'm sorry, the the new moon. The new moon. The new moon. And your intuition. All right, we're going to clear all oh, signs here. Signs here. We have Virgo. We have a Scorpio. We have the power for, I believe that you, Taurus. Yes. And then you have all the air air is libra gemini and aquarius here yes and then you have water the four of cups and six of cups scorpio and and, and cancer okay that's the signs we have hmm. the hangman please Okay, the hey man, yeah, they, they want you to have patience with your loved one. You have a lot of passion and love for this person. And they just want you to have patience with them. For this week, have a little more patience with them. Your love and your passion is on point this week too. So, they just want you to add patience and understanding. Okay, and then with this um, new moon, oh, look at this, the lover, see? It's something to do with your love life. And you know when, when this is a Gemini card, but I, I don't, I find it as more of a situation. So they want you to manifest something that you want for the both of you. This has to do with school to the Six of Swords. So, yeah. I don't know if you're manifesting, you're going back to school, or it's something you are in your head about. It's something you're in your head and they want you to manifest. Whatever you're in your head about, manifest it. 
and please have a lot of patience, nurturing, and love. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to do the food card spirit. The food. The food card. Jeez. Yeah, you guys have a lot of passion. A lot of passion. A lot of passion. A lot of love. Gonna have, be successful. A lot of sex. Abundance of love. Abundance of sex. But you still in your head. <laughs> you still in your head about everything. Yes. You scared there's competition. Hmm. Four wands, please. Oh, you're afraid, you guys. You're you're afraid you guys are going to break up. But it's all in your head. It's all in your head. I see no signs of that. I see no sign of competition. Use your intuition. It'll tell you. It'll tell you. But I do see signs of somebody spying on you. Somebody is spying. Someone is spying. I don't know why. I don't know why they spying. Spirit, Father, Sword, please. You'll have victory. You'll have victory, so don't even worry about who's spying on you. It'll end soon. You're going through this rebirth. So stand in your power. Stand in your power. Stand in your power, Queen of Swords. I think the Queen of Swords is the baddest bee in the deck. She's something else. The Queen of Swords is. She know how to deal with you. Yeah. Yep, your love life is fine. Your love life, it, it was sent by the divine. Look at that ice cream, all them stars. Yeah, you're afraid you're going to have a broken heart. That he's going to hurt you or she's going to hurt you. But that's not going to happen. Just stand in your power. Just stand in your power. Be that emperor. If you're a man, be in the, in the spirit of saying men. If you're a Taurus and you're a man, be him. That's what they want for you. No wimps. No wimps. They throw this card at me, you guys. <laughs> Everything is fine, okay? Everything is fine. <laughs> Your intuition is telling you everything is okay. All right? So get out your head. Your love life is fine. You're just going through a rebirth. Remember? So be that queen of swords if you are a woman. And if you are a man, you need to be this emperor. Okay? Don't worry about it. And use your intuition. Use that intuition. There's a lot of passion for see it keeps telling me school. There's something going on with school. The Knight of Pentacles, please. The Knight of Pentacles. That was Capricorn that was school, huh? But there's something about school here. Yeah, it's going to be a new beginning somewhere. 
I don't know your love life. Don't worry about it. Your love life. This means he's your twin flame or she. Your twin flame or your soulmate. I get more soulmate than anything. Your sex life is good. Just put in that teamwork. Just put in that teamwork. Now you guys are the powerful couple because the Queen of Swords is somewhere in here. All right, Taurus, that's all I have. Be careful when it comes to school. It's something about school is not telling me. It's just saying you're going to get a good start, a, a fresh start. And then um, the, the new moon. Watch out for the new moon. They want you to... Um, they want you to to be in tune with your intuition on the 8th on Sunday that's when the new moon is okay alright Taurus that's it that's all I have for you alright have a good weekend have fun see you next week Taurus I am saying the moon goddess and I'm out. Oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe.